Welcome back. We're going to check on the market's reaction to today's unemployment data. Uh, just to review that for you, the unemployment rate ticked down to 7.4% from 7.6%. Non-farm payrolls uh, came in at 162,000 versus expectation of 183,000. Polia Lasova from Market Watch joins us now. What Good do the morning. markets think? Uh, well, right before the jobs day, the U.S. stock futures were just slightly higher, and uh, that's where they were trading a little while ago mm -hmm. when I was checked. So there was a fairly muted reaction, at least in the stock market, uh, so far to the data. Obviously, we have a whole trading day ahead, and it's worth remembering that yesterday the stock market had a record-breaking day. The S&P 500 ended above uh, uh, 1,700 uh, uh, for the first time ever. Uh, the Dow um, closed at the record high. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so far this morning, U.S. stock futures still pointing slightly up, even though the data was, um, uh, you know, uh, below expectations. Okay, let's move on to three stocks we're looking at. The first is Dell. Yes, well, the, the saga with Dell continues. Uh, Michael Dell and uh, Silver Lake uh, are trying to uh, uh, to nail down another deal. Uh, they've uh, made some revisions, so they've slightly increased the price. They're uh, proposing uh, changes to the voting rules as well as a special dividend. Uh, so these are the latest reports coming in this morning. Uh, the deal so far isn't done yet, uh, though. Um, it's uh, worth pointing out, though, Dell shares are up about 5% in pre-market trade, so mm -hmm. it seems like investors like uh, what they're hearing uh, so far. Um, and uh, it will be interesting to see just how long it takes for all of this to be, um, you know, finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, of course, we'll have a lot more on the Dell situation on Money Beat at 1030, so come back for that. Jumping over to our next stock, we have AIG yes. with a bit of a milestone. Yes, uh, they announced last night their first capital return to shareholders since the financial crisis since 2008. So they announced a dividend as well as a $1 billion share buyback program. Um, and of course, AIG has gone through um, uh, such a just a massive transformation since 2008 uh, after getting that uh, massive government bailout mm -hmm. um, and uh, then paying it back um, and and so now uh, we see this milestone with the with the capital okay. return to shareholders the shares are up um, so uh, it's it's good news for investors. Okay, last we only have about 20 seconds. LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn shares. Juggernaut. Are, yeah, temp, uh, up 10 percent pre-market. Better than expected results. 59 percent rise in revenue. LinkedIn has consistently delivered strong earnings. They did it yesterday, and the shares are rallying. Yeah, we just saw 234 there. If I recall correctly, the IPO at 45 dollars. Right. Yeah, the shares are up strongly. Huge very strongly. gains. Okay, yeah. Polyolasova from Market Watch. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure.